In Fight Night Combat, one of the most satisfying attacks, both for the player and the audience, is stealing an opponent's club out of the air. But the question often arises, when is this allowed and when is it not? Often, in the heat of the battle, it's unclear if someone has played fairly or not. This video is a guide to players on when they can steal a club, and also a guide for match referees or tournament directors on whether a steal was fair play. The first thing to watch out for is that the player must choose to make this attack. They can't be forced into stealing a club out of the air after a successful attack by their opponent. If their opponent hits the player's clubs away, the player can't then decide that they want an opponent's club. Here's an example featuring me and Jerzy in Lublin 2014. Unclear? Let's see a replay. I fully intend to catch my own club here, and then Jerzy attacks my club. That's no longer an option for me, but I spot his club in the air. This is not allowed. He successfully attacked me, so I must just get out of the way. I only realized my mistake after the fact. In this case, it's unclear if Jerzy would have caught his own club without my interference, so I should have got a warning and we should have replayed the point. I looked back through the archives to find the worst examples of this. His Flo and Jochen at match point in the final at the EJC 2008. Whoever gets away clean here is the tournament's champion. Because it's such an important point, any unfair play should be penalized. Let's see that again. Jochen clearly hits Flo's clubs away. Two of them. This was clearly Jochen's point, but Flo then makes a very late grab at Jochen's clubs. Such a blatant late attack after a successful attack by Jochen during the tournament winning point is worth more than just a warning. In cases like this, at match point, the referee should deduct a point from Flo's score. The second thing to watch out for is a player catching an opponent's club after their own club has hit the floor. The exact timing can be very tricky to spot without frame-by-frame -frame replay, so the referee should consider what a player intends to do, typically made clear by the player abandoning their own high thrown club. This is often so obvious that their opponent also abandons their own high thrown club, and the two players swap clubs, sometimes successfully, sometimes not so successfully. Here's Brooke and me at the EJC 2014. That's a successful steal, right? Looking back, you can see that when I threw my club, I fully intended to catch it. Then you can almost pinpoint the moment when Brooke decides to catch my club and the moment I decide to catch Brooke's club. Even with frame-by-frame -frame video playback, we can't see if I catch Brooke's club a split second before or after my own club hits the floor. However, my intention to steal Brooke's club was unambiguous well before that moment, as I was both looking and moving away from my abandoned club and towards Brooke's club. In the end, the point is valid. Here's Mattis and Jochen at the EJC 2008. Is the steal made before the abandoned club hits the floor? Again, we know the point is valid, even without keeping track of the exact timing. Almost as soon as they've thrown their clubs, both players switch aim and clearly plan to catch their opponent's club. The player's intention is unambiguous, mainly because Mattis doesn't even try to catch his own club, and neither does Jochen try to catch his own club, even though he could have done if he had kept track of it in the air. Mattis simply catches Jochen's club and takes the point. The third thing to watch out for is when a player intends to catch an opponent's club, but fails. If a player's club has hit the floor, they should stop juggling and get out of the way, like Jochen does in this example from the EJC 2014 final against Eva. So considering these three things, watch this final example featuring Eva and John at the BJC 2015 in the final match. This point was correctly overturned by Jayan, the tournament referee, because Eva does a lot of things wrong. At this moment, Eva has abandoned his own club and is aiming to catch John's club, this one. But John catches that club. Eva's club hits the floor. At this point, Eva should probably have stepped away and stopped playing the point. The tournament referee had already spotted Eva's late grab after his club hits the floor and decided to invalidate Eva's point. But let's keep watching. Eva switches his aim to another of John's clubs, this one. But Eva didn't catch that club. John caught it, and then Eva only barely caught his own club. 
It should have been clear to Eva that he was now out of the point. He had dropped, and John was clearly and fully in control of his own three clubs. At this point, Eva can't switch his aim from his own club to John's club to make a steal, because his own club is on the floor, out of play. And yet he makes another grab at John's club. And he fails at that too. The only reason he manages to steal John's club on the fourth attempt is because he physically pushes himself back into John's pattern. Even after clearly being out of the point, he forces a last wild throw from John, so catches that club too. The whole point looked amazing, with five attempted steals overall, with two successful at the end. Yet all but the first attempted steal was bad sportsmanship, and anything after the second attempted steal was obviously too late, even to Eva. Sustained, intentional late grabs and attacks should be penalised, and in this case, because John was clearly in control of all three of his clubs well after Eva was out of the point, the referee should have awarded the point to John, rather than deducting a point from Eva's score or merely replaying the point. I hope this video clears up some confusion over when you can steal an opponent's club out of the air. Next time you're playing combat, ask yourself, am I just trying to steal this club because one of my own clubs has already been successfully attacked, or because my abandoned club has already hit the floor? If so, do the right thing. Just step out of the way and let your opponent have a fair attempt at finishing the point cleanly.